All right, it's a little different. I'm sitting in for Eric Crawford today, but Rick Bozich is still here. And I'm glad Rick's here because I always jokingly refer to him as the mayor of Assembly Hall with his connections at Indiana. He's tapped into those a little bit uh, with his column today because, Rick, I think Mike Woodson has certainly uh, made a few people upset up there in Bloomington. Yeah, um, it, it involves the Hoosier Hysterics who do a podcast about IU sports. They're sort of the card chronicle or KSR of Indiana sports sure. yep just focus on IU they've had tremendous access for four years they get players on their podcasts and last year when Indiana had an unsuccessful season not making the NCAA tournament they were somewhat critical of Mike Woodson they had Brian Evans on who criticized the program and they announced today that their fan fest their golf outing and another event that they usually a fantasy camp that they sponsor Woodson has canceled that uh, no more special access. I guess they're going to have a hard time getting player interviews. Yeah. Uh, he doesn't like the criticism he's received for last season. I remember various post-game scenarios last year where Mike Woodson did not respond well to even very basic right. criticism. You're right. And it's a bit surprising to me because, as you wrote, this is a guy who coached the New York Knicks. This is Indiana basketball, a guy who played for Indiana basketball. Of course there's going to be scrutiny with this job. Especially when you don't make the NCAA tournament. Yeah. Uh, and you have a McDonald's All-American who decommits. A variety of other things happen that, that made IU basketball have a season that made fans upset last year. And Woodson's reaction has been to say it wasn't that bad of a year. And he doesn't like it when people criticize the way they do or do not use the three-point shot. Uh, that's part of the gig. That's why you're making over $3 million a year. Fans are invested, they care, they wonder why the program doesn't do well. When they do well, they're all on board, but uh, to throw up a test of whether you're a true fan or a real fan, whether you criticize the program or not, is silly. We'll keep up with Mike Woodson, Indiana, and all of our local college basketball teams, even during the summer, because this is the college hoops capital of the country. He's Rick Bozich, I'm Tyler Graver for WDRB Sports.